Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and in this video I want to talk about uh, just be careful when you are buying a new Intel processor because there is a confusion among people about the type of uh, uh, Core i processor they buy. Uh, I'll just give you an example about uh, roughly about eight weeks ago one of my distant cousins just casually uh, we were talking on the phone and he uh, asked me uh, he was uh, going to build a uh, he was going to get a computer assembled and he was asking me which processor to go and I casually told him go get an i5 processor that will be more than enough for you and he built an i5 based assembled computer uh, just about a week ago I visited him and he told me to have a look at his computer so I just casually looked at it and I was shocked to see that the Intel CPU that was used uh, on his uh, computer was the original i5 that was launched in 2010 not the new Sandy Bridge uh, uh, chips the thing is that the new Core i series by Intel uh, were launched in 2010 and the subsequent uh, second generation of Core i processor that are currently running and they are also known as Sandy Bridge but again Intel likes to call them uh, simply by i3, i5 and the i7. I blame Intel also for this for creating a little bit confusion. Uh, again uh, the upcoming processors that the IV Bridge that will be hitting the market in around May 2012 will again be uh, branded as a i3, i5 and i7 chips. Uh, but you need to be careful what uh, kind of processor you are buying. Let me give you an example by comparing the i5 uh, chips from the first generation, second generation that's the current generation of Sandy Bridge and the third generation of Core i chips that will be known as IV Bridge. Uh, if you uh, look at the model numbers of these chips uh, for the i5 chip, uh, the original one that was launched in 2010 you have a processor like 650 but if you move to the second generation that's the current sandy bridge uh, chips the model name will start with two for example the i5 uh, core i5 2500 do notice the first digit that is two that stands for the second generation chip similarly the iv bridge uh, chips that are going to launch soon will start with the prefix three for example uh, the i5 IV Bridge uh, model uh, will be labeled something like uh, 3555. So just be careful when you are buying a new Intel chip, look at the generation you are buying and just be careful that you don't end up buying a previous generation chip. I hope this video was helpful. That's it for now. This is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and I hope to see you in my next video.